Hello everybody! Welcome to another video from Coach Church with Profanis. Well, the error handling is very important in programming and we know how to do this in synchronous code. But how about error handling in a sync code in our JS operators? So, let's get started! For this video we will use this country service where we have the get and get and throw methods and the get method returns an observable of string array and get and throw returns an observable of string array but what I'm doing here is that I'm throwing an error and the message is an error occurred. So let's go to the app component TS and use this one but before even using the country service let's see something that we use very often in synchronous code and this is the try catch final block. So what we're doing in synchronous code is that in the try block we are typing our code and then if we have any error we are catching the error in the catch block and we are handling the error here. So handle the error and in case we want we have also the final block which will run in any case. Run in any case means that if everything are okay here then this will run and if we have any error this will run as well. So this is how we use the try catch block in synchronous code but how about in RxJS? So let's give it a try. In the engine init I will use this country service and I will start by using the get method and the question here is how can I get the data of an observable? by using the subscribe of course. Into the subscribe we have to provide an observer. We very often use the data as an arrow function and we're doing something with these values. So let's console log and I will type here HTTP response and here I have my data. So let's go to the browser to see what we have. As we can see we have here the HTTP response and the array of countries. Please note that into the subscribe we can provide an observer and this observer can have three different functions. The first one is the next which will run this callback function whenever we have a successful response, the error which will run this callback function whenever we have a thrown error from the observable and then we have the complete which will run only when we have a successful observable. So what we can do here is the following. I will tap here error and I will console log. Let's say that I have an HTTP error and this will be my error. And let's also type here the complete so that we have all the functions for this observer. And this will be the console log HTTP is done. Let's go to the browser to see what we have. We have the HTTP response and HTTP is done. As soon as we subscribe, we have some checks. Do I have any error? No. Then the data will run. This one won't run. And since we have a successful data, then the complete callback function will run as well. Please note that the complete runs only whenever we do not have any error. This works fine, but we can consider this like being the last resort, meaning the following, that imagine that we have a stream here and we have various steps and each step is responsible to handle the observables. Here we have a handling, a handling, a handling and another handling here and at the end we have the subscribe. These intermediate steps do not subscribe, we have only at the end. And let's consider now a case where we want to handle the error and we are not happy with the response the server returns and we want to rethrow the error by providing a different name. So how can we do this? It seems that we cannot do this here since this is the last resort. So we will do the following. I will type here a pipe and I will use the catch error operator and this catch error operator what is it going to do? Of course to catch the error and let's start by typing console log 
local error and here I will provide my error. This seems to be correct but it's not and the reason is that the catch error accepts as input an observable and should return as output an observable. And the reason is that if we do not return an observable here, then we won't be able to subscribe. So let's fix this. I will console log and at the end I will return an observable of null. So let's analyze the code line by line. We use the get method and we know that this method won't throw any error. So the catch error won't run. And then we will go here into the subscribe. And the subscribe will do the following. Do I have a successful one? Yes, I do. Then I will run this callback function. Do I have any error? No. Do I have a successful one? Yes, I do. Then we will see the HTTP response and HTTP is done into the console. HTTP response and HTTP is done. How about now if we have the other method which is the get and throw? What will happen is the following. The catch error operator will catch this error, the thrown error from this method and will console log the local error. And we are handling the error and we are like, you know what? I don't want to rethrow the error, but instead, imagine that we are here, and in this stream, I want to rethrow the error, and I want to provide some correct data, so that my last resort, which is the subscribe, will get my own data. And these are my data, just an R. Since we have this, then into the subscribe, we will have the same checks. Do I have a successful one? Yes. Do I have an error? No. Do I have a successful one? Yes, I do. So the data and the complete will run. And what we will have into the console will be the local error, then HTTP response and HTTP is done. Local error, HTTP response with a null, this is what we returned and HTTP is done. How about now if we want to rethrow the error? So we received it here, we did something with this, we have the console log and we want to rethrow the error. Instead of, of null or of anything, we can use the other operator which is the throw error and we will provide here the same error. So the code now goes like this. We know that this method will throw an error, right? So the catch error, we handle it, we console log and then we rethrow the error. And into the subscribe, we will have some checks. Do I have a successful one? No. Do I have an error? Yes, I do. Do I have a successful one? No. So what we will see into the console will be the local error and HTTP error. Local error and HTTP error. And you might be wondering now, previously we saw that we had the try catch finally and the finally block runs regardless if we have a successful one or an erroneous one. How can we achieve this? We can use another operator and this is the finalize and the finalize will run no matter what. So let's have here console log and I will type the end. So what will happen here is the following. We have the get and throw, the catch error will type the local error, we rethrow the error and then we will have the HTTP error and at the end we will have the message the end. We have the local error, we have the HTTP error, and we also have the end. So we know that the error handling is very vital in the application and we should handle all the errors. And we have the option either to have the last result, let's say, which is the subscribe, or to use the catch error operator and do whatever we like. So that was it. Thanks for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments below and do not forget to subscribe and click the ring bell. See you in the next video.